Hi Aries, welcome and welcome back to Prefire at Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. Go back to get to your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to see the person I'm reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important messages for this sign of Aries, please and thank you. Most important messages for the sign of Aries. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, cool. <laughs> the Justice card. Libra energy, four of wands at the bottom of the deck, your energy with the ten of swords. So, someone could be feeling betrayed when it comes down to um, like a family situation, a relationship. Let's get more messages. We have the eight of swords and the tower card. Someone's in their head about things crumbling, things falling apart. But it seems like a person knows that... Um, this was meant to happen all right things were meant to fall apart almost with that justice card it's almost karma type type of energy we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck with the ace of wands someone doesn't want to accept some type of truth or see the truth someone doesn't want to make a decision about what's being manifested here let me get one more card or let me get more messages period more messages for the sign of Aries what is Aries what else is going on the hermit card give me a second I just dropped it the hermit card going with the emperor and meditation Virgo energy this is right after the tower card and then we have the ten of swords the emperor card and the three of swords this seems like a masculine energy may uh, feel betrayed or betray someone <coughs> This was unexpected, but I seen, it seemed like someone expected it, but it's going to be unexpected for someone else, all right? The King of Wands in reverse. There you are. I feel like this is you. This might be you who feel like you caused a tower moment or something like that. This King of Wands in reverse. This is you or a masculine energy that you're involved with. It could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius also. And then we have the Page of Wands at the bottom of the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Something's being offered. Younger Capricorn towards Virgo energy or creating something. Something's being created. Something's being worked on. Something. Two of Pentacles going back and forth. And six of Pentacles. People give and take or need for more messages. Someone may feel like they've been they've been treated. Wrong, we have the will of fortune in reverse. Five of swords, nine of swords, ace of cups, and the tap in the uh devil card with the hierophant. This reminds reminds me of um it's like a saying in the right like God only it's like the devil has to get the okay or permission from source most high in order to even touch you that type of energy and someone's worried about this karma that's finna come something's finna backfire this is what someone feels like it's finna happen like something is backfiring and something is happening here where you just didn't expect it to happen the way well it's almost as if you expected it you just didn't want it to happen you or someone else you or someone else five of swords someone gonna be arguing like arguing it's gonna be some extra stuff going on. It's worrying the hell out of someone. Let me get one more card for Aries. One more card for the sign of Aries. Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you don't want to believe this. Whatever is going on, you don't want to believe it. There was some a lot of last deception going on. The Five of Swords, Two of Swords takes me to the Seven of Swords energy. Someone definitely was trying to keep this secret hidden. I feel we have the Queen of Cups, the Full card, and the Empress. Either someone feel, feel like feels like they fell in love with the fool, or feels but yeah feels betrayed by a masculine energy. There's a an empress that feels betrayed by a masculine energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There you are, Libra, um, Virgo, Taurus, energy. Uh, Ten of Swords, energy. That's Gemini, and then that you are again with that Emperor card, but it could be Taurus also, right? Let's get. More messages. What's the justice card? Yeah. What's the justice justice card? The seven of wands. Boundaries protecting oneself. Is it's best for you to guard yourself right now. It's best for you to guard yourself. 
It's Leo energy. And then we have the Nine Swords back at the bottom of the deck. It's best for you to guard yourself from something. Follow your heart. I think something is definitely hidden. Or trying to be hidden away from you. But the truth is definitely about to be revealed. I feel like you're going to see the truth. You're going to have to accept it. Even though you may not want to see it. Seven of Wands energy with that Justice card. Someone's trying to avoid what's coming. Which I don't, someone's trying to avoid what's coming with that. That's why the worry card at the bottom of the deck with the nine of swords. What's the eight of swords? The emperor card. So and then the flip out in reverse. Fill out in reverse as I'm trying to flip it over. It just flipped out in reverse. But I'm gonna take it the way I was gonna take it. The emperor card. Regardless, someone's messed up in the head. Knight of swords. Some type of communication. Two of wands taking a different approach. Um. I heard information out there. The, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Someone's been lying for a while now. Someone's been lying for a while now. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. So they've been trying to keep a um, safe face for a long time. Or a safe face. This could be you trying to act like nothing is wrong. You or whoever this is trying to act like nothing is wrong. Or trying not to see what's going on with this person. With this situation that you get, you have going on. Anyways, what's the tower card? The Ace of Cups. Oh, hmm. You won't, you won't avoid yourself now. You won't neglect yourself now. You won't deny yourself now. There's, a, there's an, a, either a gift of love. Okay, or something new in the works when it comes down to your emotions or how you feel. There's an opportunity of love that someone is looking to reject, maybe, or something you feel like it was denied in the past. What's the hermit card? Oh, shoot, this could have been a player. We have the Knight of Wands in and out energy back and forth, back and forth. So this person could have been a player or whatever, and then someone gets caught. Someone gets caught. And then we have the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. Yeah, the love is there, but someone may have caused some type of manipulation in a relationship. Yeah, then maybe there, there is a need for some type of healing also. There was some type of manipulation in a relationship, I feel. In a connection, or someone tried to manipulate a decision to be made. Moving on. What's the King of Wands in reverse? What's the King of Wands in reverse? We have the Ace of Swords. Truth. I just said the truth is going is going to come out. The truth is going to be revealed. This King of Wands in reverse. Something is off about this individual. Some. Um. Let's say. Let's see. This person feels like they can't move forward. Um. This person. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And a nine of wands. This person feels like they can't get it together. Someone doesn't want to give up on the, what they love, who they love, whatever they love, something like that. But they know they have to protect themselves. Someone has to create boundaries or protect oneself. Because something is off. I'm about to keep saying. Let me move on. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you all? We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Someone has been avoid, avoiding a healing process, but you cannot avoid this any longer. What's coming in is the Star card, Renewal, Hope, and Faith, and the King of Swords with the Star Strength card. Um, I feel like someone was looking for maybe a second opinion, and then you receive better information, whatever you were looking for. Or you are hoping for better information. The four swords are reversed. A lack of feeling. Something isn't turning around. Someone's in their head. What's the five of swords? The queen of wands. And we have the match. The relationship is off. Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and that's probably what the second opinion is about. You might have when to talk to friends and stuff like that. Um, whoever this is. So this could be a relationship, like I was saying. And the relationship or the connection. Someone was going in and out, in and out, in and out. The relationship, in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, the, it was best to block out the other individuals. That's what I'm seeing here. It was best to block out the other individuals. But I feel like someone may have not done that that's why we have this king of wands in reverse and this person gets found out like put on spot because i heard also everybody's looking at me so 
Uh, I guess this person may be embarrassed after you or they find out about whatever is going on. The Four of Swords with this Wheel of Question in Reverse feels seems like someone is saying, no, there is no return with this. Okay? We can't turn this around. There is no healing in this situation. The Queen of Wands is ready to fight here. The person, it could be like, okay, this, if... This could be the third party if this was a relationship, like I'm saying. This could be a third party, all right? The person who's ready to fight for what they want, right? I'm going to fight for my man. I'm going to fight for my woman, whatever is going on, right? Chills. <laughs> but this could also be a person just going off, just snapping. Two of Pentacles and then the Page of Pentacles back and forth, back and forth, creating some type. Somebody's trying to create balance with, with this new beginning. Okay, it's almost as if a person is fearing how they're going to go about things moving forward. What's these two of swords? We have the world card and the death card. It's not funny because this is real deal holy feel. Someone is done. Done. Done, done. Like, like I don't want to do this anymore. I'll finish with this. I cannot deal with this anymore. The nine of, nine of wands and the queen of cups. Someone is thinking, like, I don't know how much more I can deal with this individ individual or how much love I can show to you. Someone definitely is feeling taken advantage of. Could be an empress, the double card there, the nine of swords. Feel manipulated. Someone feels manipulated. Two of swords and a death card. Someone does not see this ending coming. Someone doesn't want to give up on their love, but the ending is here. Maybe this person was trying to avoid an ending, but I definitely see the Ten of Swords energy here. I definitely see the Seven of Swords energy there. So lies and betrayal. What's the Emperor card? What's the Emperor card? We have the King of Cups. Now this person loves this person. You love this person. This person loves you. However it is, we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. But there was a need for an equal give and take. It's time for someone to work on themselves, I would say. Okay. So renewal, hope, and faith can come in. What's the world card? For the sign of Aries, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You remember I was saying something about someone's been lying for a long time? Right, here's the long time energy. But it's coming to an end. Because the truth is being revealed, if that's just the case from that. But that was the first thought that came to my mind. Also, if you feel like you've been waiting for something for a long time for your justice to come in, it's coming in. You just don't see it coming just yet, right? And then, let's see. What's the death card? It could be an ending with a fixed sign. Um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Um, who the heck am I missing? Moving on because I'm going to remember. Scorpio. <laughs> I always do that. Three of Cups and a hyphen though. As I said something about an ending, the hyphen is saying reconcile. Come together, celebrate. Maybe someone was trying to what anyway. It's whatever. Let's get submit. No, we're gonna clarify the ace of swords and then I'm gonna pull some advice, okay? What's the ace of swords? And the ace of cups there. Let's do the ace of cups first. What's the ace of cups? Oh shoot. Ten of swords. You remember I was just saying it? I felt the ten of swords energy, the judgment card and the two of Pentacles there at the bottom, underneath, at the bottom of the deck, underneath the judgment card. <sighs> Someone definitely feels betrayed. Like that's how you do me. That's how you do my love, do my heart, my love, the love that I've given to you. You've really hurt me. Someone is feeling like this. Um, I feel like a person has been avoiding going off. Also, what's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords energy? Nine of Pentacles. Truth is, someone either has been acting single, there's Three of Cups energy acting single, or it's time for someone to do something on their own, be on their own, find some type of independent self worth, um, pull out of some type of codependent energy. What's the advice for our Aries? The Three of Wands. Advice would be stop looking forward to confusion because it was coming out of reverse. Or, 
You can't expect change if you're not doing anything to change the situation you're in. Something like that. You have to put in work for the change. You can't just be waiting and not doing anything. Or this is also, if you have to expect something differently, you have to attract something better. Okay? Because you might just not, you might be expecting things to be bad. The Seven of Cups confusion. What's this Three of Wands in reverse? What is your energy of five of wands? Yeah, that's what you don't want Want to happen. You don't want the argument. You don't want to fight. You don't want the drama. The love is card. The seven of pentacles. You're just trying to pull it back from an energy where you feel like that that will lead to disaster. Uh, that take This takes me to this eight of wands. Because I said, oh, clarifying the death card. I don't even think I talked about this. The end is to some communication also. What's the eight of wands? So communication that ends things. What's this eight of wands here? It might be communication that ends things. We have the temperance card and walking away with the eight of cups. Someone has been patient, patient, trying not to walk away. Someone's worried, yep, thinking about taking a different approach. What's the temperance card? It's the edge energy. Judging is about to be called because it's trying to come out. What's the temperance card? The chariot card. Pushing forward, moving forward. Someone already knew this. Maybe someone had the feeling. Someone really didn't know. They just had a feeling. It had to be confirmed. What's the chariot card? What's the chariot card? What's the chariot card? The nine of cups. Moving forward to be happy. The three of cups back at the bottom of the deck. And the three of pentacles. It, look like, it looks like in order for someone to reconcile with another person whoever this is you or them whatever whatever's going on it's going to take a person it's, it's going to take for someone to put in some work on themselves or in order to just get things to go better for you in your life someone is going to need to put in some work in order to manifest better things in their life because it seems like someone doesn't know how to have that equal give and take okay so it's like it's not all about true type of energy you or them whoever it is Most important message for the sign of Aries. Time to go in reverse. And milky honey in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's time to go in reverse. New life. Time for something new. Milk and honey. Here we go. Here we go. Even if, even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line... And all is lost. It isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than, in, than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. So you lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubt, but that is natural. As it doesn't have the map of your destiny, the soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Okay? Let's read New Life. It says, oh no, it's in the upright. I don't know why I'm reading the reverse. It says, birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air. Life renewing itself. When spring awakens, we're going towards that now. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new, and, and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine for this is a light for this is a time of good fortune. But see, we have this milk and honey card in reverse at the bottom of the day. Let's read it. And I was just talking about um trying to leave in a situation where um it's been it's been time to go or whatever. And this one's actually just saying something about 
what you think is over is not over it's just going to be uh, change is going to be regenerated right and then we have this new life energy which everything is going to be much better it's just things have to shift the way things are right now has to change right but then that milk and honey in reverse card lets me know that things are off in this moment anyways i feel like i'm just talking too much <laughs> Um, protection, protection message. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to accept. So someone was, is drinking or, um, dealing with addictions. I said that earlier at the very beginning of the reading. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. It works in the moment, but only fleetingly before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're exhausted. Feelings work, feeling worse than before, you may continue struggling or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit. Now is the time for practicing extreme self-care if you can. Do so before you engage in behaviors you'll regret later. You are so loved, so cared for. Feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. Yes, yeah, so wants to reconnect with you all, Aries. Source wants to reconnect with you before you go down the uh, road or path that you don't want to be on. It's just like love yourself. That's why I kept on saying love yourself. Love yourself. That's the same. It's basically the same thing. Knowing that you are loved by the divine is loving yourself because you treat yourself better. To know that you are supported and protected by spirit, that you're supported and protected by someone. Because even if you hit on this earth and you feel like people don't care for you. You better know, just know that you have people that care for you in on the other side if they're not here. Because you're here living up to this point for a reason because you have divine protection. I'm pretty sure you do. So, I'm going to leave that here. I feel like I wanted to say something else. Um, and I almost feel like I was all over the place. But I'm going to leave this here, Aries. That was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated. How it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.